Hello, my name is Ian, I'm 62, um, I'm retired, and I live in central London. Um, I've been thinking about posting and uh, supporting your channel, um, and I was a, a wee bit reticent, possibly a bit shy, about putting myself out there. However, I've, I've been watching the contributors um, today and over the weekend, and uh, I just felt I had to say something, if only to show my support. I think as far as my views on the current situation, um, I would go along with um, one of your contributors who posted today called Ray from Surrey. Um, his whole premise uh, and his views, I think, we prove, prove that we're speaking from the same, we'll be singing from the same hymn sheet, basically, if I just went over the same ground. So um, all I'll do really is just give you some of my opinions and how I'm feeling, which is what um, you asked for initially. Um, at the start of the um, virus, when people were talking about it, it was on the news quite a lot and it was all kicking off in China. Um, there was a bit of a panic in the air, um, but I, I thought, well, it'll all blow over. And I did think then it was an overreaction. I've never changed my views on that. I thought they overreacted to it and it was just a, a bad flu virus. Um, and then as the panic got worse, we entered the we had the daily uh, press conferences and then the uh, the lockdown, which um, really that was it. That's when it all set in and it was serious. Um, I still didn't agree with it, but I thought, well, OK, fair enough. It, maybe there is something in it. Um, <clears throat> it was initially meant to be three weeks to flatten the curve. Um, what happened to that? And um, go along with it. But virtually from the start at these uh, press conferences, when you'd have the um, people like Chris Whitty saying that 80% of the country or the majority of the country will probably get it, but they won't even know they've had it mm. or they won't be affected re uh, badly by it and they, they certainly won't die. That'll be a minority. But then in the next breath, it was all about the deaths that were occurring, um, Nightingale hospitals being built and um, easing the strain on the NHS. Well, we know now that the Nightingale hospitals are still completely virtually empty um, and there never was a strain um, on the NHS as they were um, mooting that there would be. And I said then, um, this doesn't add up. They're giving conflicting messages. Um, do they know something we don't? Why are they saying one thing and then they're doing something something else? Um, and they, um, I've been looking at different channels on YouTube, just doing a bit of research. And there's certain people that I've I started following over um, over Brexit um, about the the media bias, etc. Um, and uh, I was watching the same people, and they started doing um, podcast and and uh, stuff about. Um, the coronavirus and, and uh, what, was, <clears throat> what was the agenda behind it. And some of these early videos, I thought, yeah, OK, this, you know, I'd, I'd watch them and I think, yes, yes, this is, this, is, this is right. You know, it's right what they're saying. And then they go off onto what I thought was a bit conspiracy theorist. And I thought it was a bit far fetched. And I thought, no, uh, no, it, it's not going to get like that. You know, if it, it started off well, now they've gone off on a, on a tangent. But the more... And the longer this has gone on and the more research that I've done, the things that were predicted then and they're happening before my eyes, uh, before our eyes. And um, unfortunately, uh, the majority of people um, are going along with it and they can't see it. Um, um, or maybe they just don't want to see it. Um, the, the conflicting messages thing is still there. Uh, you you say yeah go on holiday encourage you to go on holiday and then people go on holiday and suddenly there's you have there's a lockdown in spain and you have to have a, a quarantine when you come back and then today it's this obesity thing oh we must fight obesity and yet a couple of weeks ago they're handing out vouchers for mcdonald's and pizza hut and saying suggesting people go in and buy a takeaway i mean they really are messing with our brains and the the, the face mask or the muzzling is really the final straw for me. I'm now convinced that there is an ulterior motive there. And I think, um, again, going back to Ray, um, I think this um, this agenda is well underway um, and this has been planned for, uh, has been planned. Um, it does get me very, um, very depressed because I can't see a way out of it. 
as I said, the majority are going on with it. Um, it just seems to be no light at the tunnel. There's nobody standing up and querying it. Uh, and I, I, the, depressed, the depression some days is almost overbearing. Um, I just can't. I think back to the way we were, um, not even, well, start of the year. Um, and, and just realising that we're never going to get back to that. Uh, I get exceedingly upset and um, uh, and I have very dark days. But then other days, um, I brighten up a bit and I get very angry and that's, <laughs> that seems to help. But um, I will do all I can to support um, your you and uh, the cause. And um, I've joined uh, Keep Britain Free. I went to the last um, assembly um, protest at Hyde Park Corner and I shall look forward to attending the next one. Um, I hope this hasn't been too boring for people watching it, just me rambling on, but um, that's it. That's how I feel, and um, it's all a bit despondent in this house at the moment, but um, I'll try and keep my chin up, and uh, we'll see what happens next. Uh, thanks very much.